What's up guys, Moose78 here with another American Truck Sim video. And today we've got some big news to discuss. As most of you have probably heard by now, the developer for American Truck Sim, SES Software, is changing the scale of the map from 135 scale to 120. And just really quick, all of today's information and screenshots are credited to the official SES blog, and I'll put the link for that in the video description. So in today's video, we're going to discuss exactly what they're doing and why, how they're going to do it and time frame, and how this will affect future DLC as well as some theory crafting of sorts on how this decision could potentially affect the trucks in game. So first the details, and we'll just pull up some bullet points from the official blog post. And we'll start out right there at the top. They're up in the map scale from 135 to 120, meaning 75% longer roads outside the cities retouching the existing system of roads and intersections and revisiting the placement of cities and crossroads. So what this means is we'll have greater travel distance from city to city. Focusing on a better sense of scale and distance, more space for large vistas, adjusting the time scale meaning slower day-night cycle and longer intervals between when the driver needs to rest and refuel. So this will be nice and maybe we'll be able to stop wherever and take our rest as opposed to finding a truck dealership to do so. Revamping problematic junctions, no more intersections on the interstate. That is a blessing right there. Revamping the driver experience system to more closely mirror Euro Truck Sim 2 system. Not really sure what this is as I've never played any of the Euro Truck games. So, so I'm kind of curious to see what all that's about. And the last bullet point there, more room for densely populated areas and future map expansions. So let's go back and touch upon a couple of the key bullet points just real quick. First, the scale changing and the roads outside of the cities being 75% longer. Here's a screenshot of what that looks like as well as a screenshot showing the comparison of the old map versus the new map. And what this means is it will now take more time to complete a trip and to travel across the game world and more specifically, longer trips on the interstate or whatever route you may be traveling on. This is huge. This is what we've all been wanting since day one, is longer trips and travel times so we can hop in game and just drive. It has gotten better with the Arizona DLC with it being an additional state to drive in. However, the road systems in Arizona are much better than the previous two states, which are lacking quite a bit in my opinion. For example, in California, unless you're traveling straight up the interstate from one end of the state to the other, that it seems like you're constantly making exits and turns and so forth and not really getting a good deal of driving time in on your trip. That of course now will be changing as the roads outside of the cities are going to be, as they stated, 75% longer. So we will now have the opportunity to get out on the interstate and get a good amount of drive time in without having to travel clear across the entire map to do so. This is really good news. As you guys know, I like to take those long haul trips. So now those will be much longer and a lot more enjoyable and have a little more realistic feel to them. But even more so than that, it's good news because the devs are listening to their community. And I'll get back to that in a moment as I want to touch on one more of the bullet points super quick. And that is they're going to go back and fix some of the more problematic intersections and they specifically stated removing the intersections from the interstate. How long have we been complaining about this as it really ruins the real world feel when things like this are included in the game? So why are SCS doing this? In the blog post, they mentioned that one of the biggest complaints they heard from the community was related to the scale of the map. We've talked about it on the channel here several times, stating that the map was just a bit too small. They could have easily kept things as they were and not changed a thing. But with the amount of feedback they've received and how good sales have been the first few months, they decided to go back and do right by their player base, which again is great news. And in fact, sales have done so well that the size of the ATS dev team has more than doubled in size and they're looking to add more people to the team. Initially, they literally only started with a small handful of people working on the game. But with the amount of support they've received from the community, it's allowed them to grow the dev team even larger. 
That is also good news because I really feel since the Arizona DLC was released, SES has been moving the game in a good direction. There is still much work to be done, but it sounds like they're really gearing up to be able to meet that challenge. Now, as for the time frame, they really did not give an exact time for completion of the project, but they did ask for the community's patience and understanding as the project will take several months. I think given what they presented to us in the last update and with the news they've given us about the rescale, I think that's a pretty reasonable request. For me personally, the Arizona DLC was well worth the wait as it was by far the best thing they've produced for a North American truck sim in my opinion. And the last thing I want to touch upon is what this could potentially mean for the truck models in game. If we go back a few months, you'll recall that SES was in the US for not only the Mid-American Truck Show, but they also spent several days at the Packard Test Facility in Washington State. In an earlier episode of Stories from the Road, I had mentioned that I was curious to see if they would go back and redo the truck models that were already in-game because during the visit, they laser scanned many trucks, several of which were already in-game, as well as recorded engine sounds and so on. Now, this is the theory crafting part of the video and is purely my speculation, so do not take it for any more than that as I've not seen any official statements from SES on the matter. But I believe that at some point, we will also get revamped truck models that will be greater in detail and accuracy as well as better sounding. To me, it'd be a no-brainer. I mean, if you're gonna go back and take the time to go through the process of redoing the map scale and updating the entire road system, why not go back and redo the existing truck models and establish a standard with those like you're currently doing with the map and game world? I mean, they had to have spent three days out at the test facility for a reason. So it, to me, it would kind of make sense for them to go back and redo the truck models just like they're doing the map. But that's just my two cents on the matter. So what does all this really mean? I think kind of the long and short of it is they're establishing a standard for the game moving forward and future updates. I think they kind of listen to the community and realize that California and Nevada could have been a lot better than what they were, but maybe given the size of the dev team they had at that time, they did the best they could. But now that the game is receiving tremendous support, they're making the decision to go back and really give it the treatment that they feel the community deserves. So I think they are really moving this game in the right direction. They're taking their time, going back and fixing stuff that we're complaining about and are concerned about, as well as taking their time to create good content that people want to come back and play and new people want to get involved in. I guess really the only downside to all this though is that we're not going to get any more updates until this project is complete. But if you look at the big picture, I think it's the right decision to make. We're going to have a much more enjoyable experience with Arizona, California, and Nevada than we've ever had before. It's going to be a lot bigger. It's going to be a lot more fun to drive on. And like I said before, they're establishing that standard moving forward. So future states will be just as enjoyable to drive on and everything's going to mesh a lot better. And it's just going to be a much, much more enjoyable experience for everyone moving forward. I don't know of too many developers out there that just a couple months after their game released that they went back and basically redid the almost the entire game. That's kind of a big deal to me. So, you know, kudos to SES for stepping up and doing this. They could have just left it the way it is, just move forward with what they had planned. But they decided to go back, and like I said earlier in the video, they decided to go back and do right by their community. And that's huge. So I will definitely give them my patience for that and I really look forward to what they have in store for us moving forward. So what are your thoughts on all of this? I know we covered a lot today so be sure to leave a comment down below. But that's going to wrap it up for today. If you liked today's video and found it useful then a like and a share would be super appreciated. And if you're not already subscribed please consider doing so now. But guys I'm going to cut on out of here for now. Until the next one take care we'll be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, 
click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.